Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Continuing the trend of making videos aimed at helping newer players and refreshing the minds of those more experienced, I decided to do a general tips and secrets video about the map customs. In this video, I will reveal the location of some cheeky spots on the map, point out some well-hidden loot, and give some suggestions I have for you, the player. I'd like to first mention I will be using a map designed by Marvelin to reference everything. If you're new to customs or would just like to have it open to follow along more closely, I will attach a link to this map in the description below. Now, let's get started. Our first med spawn can be found in the trunk of the blue car just outside the military base checkpoint. You can also find the dorm room 114 key, which just so happens to be another med spawn we'll get to here shortly. Rotating over to the repair shop, we have two cheeky spots that can put you in a very advantageous position. You will have to break the glass here to get a good visual, so be wary of the noise that will make. Going up the metal stairs and getting on top of the railing, you can see through this window as well. It gets you a pretty good view of the back of the gas station. Just next to the repair shop, we have the smokestack. And here we have a couple of key spawns, one just under the dead scav's butt, and a factory key spawn inside the blue locker, along with two weapons crates that usually yield at least one weapon. The factory key is quite rare, useful, and valuable, so definitely check the locker every time you come through. Right outside, you can find a blue van with two computers in the back. This is a common spawn for flash drives. In fact, remember to look very closely at every computer in EFT as flash drives can spawn in the USB ports on the front. They are very small and hard to see. Most people know that you can jump over the fence outside of the bum train to avoid going through the gate down the way, but you can also jump back if you get a good long jump off of the ZB-112 bunker. A lot of jumps in EFT must be made using what I like to call the gazelle jump. You may have accidentally done it before without realizing, very soon after you start to sprint, hit spacebar to do a long jump. This will take some practice to consistently do, but you'll definitely know when you've got it as it's a noticeably longer jump. Next up in what's known as the container building on the map, you can find some loose med spawns in the back of the blue van. We can also get on the crates here to get a good visual of what's going on behind the gas station and up on the rocks. Traveling to the storage building, we can find a couple of weapons crates. My favorite thing about this building though, is something I only discovered recently. If you jump on top of the blue tankers, you can drop gear in between the set of four, so that way no one can get to it and you'll definitely get it back in insurance. This is especially handy when dumping a friend's gear. Moving back to old gas station, you can find a med bag just next to what's known as the giving tree. If you look closely under the tree, you can find loose loot on the ground. Just inside the old gas station itself, you can find some pretty good loot on the table just on your left as you enter. Moving out and onto the shortcut, there are a couple of things to note here. A key can spawn in the trunk of the blue car. On this run, I only found some squash. You don't actually need the factory key to get through the shortcut as you can jump off the edge of the car onto the porta potties and over the fence. Be careful as people will hear you do this. Outside of new gas station, you can check the back of the ambulance for another key. Inside, we can find another med bag just behind the first door on the right in this hallway. You need the key to the gas station storage room to get in. Behind the counter, we can find the second spawn for the lab's arsenal key. Outside the gas station in the back, make sure to check the bus seats for the Goshan key spawn. Also, on the pipes and piles of rubble, it's possible to jump over the barbed wire and get to the other side of the wall quickly. Our next med spawn can be found at this shack located at the top of the hill in the extension area. Check the chair next to the med box for another possible arsenal key room spawn. Running over to the two-story dorms, we can open room 114 to find a computer, safe, and our next med spawn. Across the way at three-story dorms, we can find the second factory key spawn on the table just inside the guard room on the first floor. On the second floor, we can find a third arsenal key spawn on this dresser. 
And of course on third floor last room on the right is marked room, which can spawn any number of goodies including a weapons case. If you find yourself in a pinch and need to get away from the three story dorms quickly, you can jump off of the roof on top of this metal fence without taking much damage. Moving on to the construction site, we have a couple of cheeky spots and jumps. Here you can not only get on top of the shack, but also jump over the wall. Traversing across the main bridge, you can find a small shack to get on top of just before you hit the train. Not to mention, you can get on top of the train as well. Off to the right of Customs Warehouse, if you're looking at the front of it, is a blue shack with yet another med box inside. Traveling into the Customs Warehouse, it is possible to climb the tipped over shelf and get a good visual of the storage section. Over at the ditch, instead of funneling through the open gate, try getting on the concrete ledge and jumping over the fence. This can be much safer as there's a spawn at the end of the road where you can almost immediately see the open gate. In the bus just before you hit trailer park, you can find an East 310 key on the seats. Just on the other side of the road, you can find a car halfway in the storage unit that has our last med bag in the trunk. Speaking of the storage units, it's possible to get on top of them from several jump up points. This can give you an edge against your opponent, but it's also very loud as most of the roofs are made of metal. The last thing I'd like to mention here is to check the driver's side seat of the blue van just next to the crossroads for another E310 key spawn. That wraps up all the things I wanted to specifically mention about customs. If I missed something important, please share it in the comments below as I want this video to help as many people as possible. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the content and remember you can always stop by my Twitch stream to ask me any questions you ever have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.